How much faith do you have in this Thunder squad in the playoffs? Give them some smoke, Gil. I like this team a lot. Listen, this is the MVP. I'm sorry. Uh, Shea? Shea is the MVP this year. Okay. And here's why. There's not a veteran on that team that has any experience of winning. This is him pushing this 22, 23, 24-year-old team, has them in a position to be the number one, two, three seed, right? Denver, those are vets, right? You expected vets to win and understand how to win. You don't expect a young team. If this team was, if this team was 10th, nobody would be saying nothing. No. Nope. Right? Because you expect that. So the fact that they are in a position that they are and the young fella is carrying and having these, uh, these other young players playing like they are veteran, that is fucking MVP. Mm-hmm. So now it's um, Jokic and Shea. Shea, like, you know what I mean? This ain't even no contest. I don't care oh, what it Luka. is. Like, Luka and Shea. Luka huh? and Shea. Like even even as I said, Luca, you still you got a Kyrie, you got yeah. a Tim Hardaway, you have veterans on your team. This team don't have nobody with no fucking experience. See, that's why I don't interrupt you. Because <laughs> you started y'all, off, y'all been you started off, yesterday. he started off kind of rocky. I'm like, nigga, what, Luca? <laughs> Luca is, and then you know he made. That's a great fucking point. That, I'm just going off. It's a great the, like, fucking point. Man, you can't you can't go wrong with that point. Like the it's age. His team. The way he's playing, he's playing like a leader. Mm-hmm. He's like, elevated he, he's everybody. Everybody. And he, he's found out ways to mitigate quarter scoring. First quarter scoring yesterday, uh, the, the last game they had, he had 15 in the first quarter. Mm-hmm. Now he can slow roll second, third quarter, come back in the fourth, get my 30. Jalen Williams, he knows the assets. He knows who can blow, blow up for him. Mm-hmm. He know when to use Chet. How to throw the lobs to him, and 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 that propels Chet to play defense and rebound. He's starting to learn that, and I think that not only him learning from other people in the league because Vince was talking. Oh no, no, it wasn't Vince. Um, it was another player who was talking about how when they played with him in in L.A. that he was just a sponge mm-hmm. trying to learn from all the older players. And when you got an opportunity to lead a young team and you see what he's doing and they're one, two, what, 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 what are they? They are two. second in the West right now. Um, a game out of first place. I know, place. I'm on. Who's first? Uh, Timberwolves. So that's, oh, oh, so that third. leaves Denver Maybe. at third. So we talked about yeah. uh, the Timberwolves yesterday. Timberwolves. They, have a little, they have more playoff experience than the Thunder. Thunder had a playoff drought. But again, how much faith do you have in this Thunder squad in the playoffs? So I think <laughs> despite not having <laughs> that experience, this team, like I don't listen. The, the, the youth is no different than Sacramento and um, last year yep. and, you know, um, Grizzlies, right? They're a young team. Um, so winning in the playoffs, you know, star power, experience will get the best of them. I don't have them winning championship or going to the Western Conference Finals. No, if they get out of the f- first round, they should because, you know, they might play a bottom team. But if they play a goddamn Lakers or, or a fucking Golden State, that's a problem for them. Yeah. Because you're going to have, you, yeah, you know what I mean? So you're going to have, you're playing against veterans, players who's been there before. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they will have the advantage over you. But I know for damn sure th- they, they got the MVP this year. I'm sorry. So I would just tell you this. If the season ended today, which it does not, but this is a good hypothetical, uh, Thunder would be the two seed. They would play either the Mavs or Kings, who are seventh and eighth right now. And we're meeting that plan. I, like, I, 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 like I love playing play the Kings. Listen, like they can play. They can beat the Kings. Yeah, they can beat the Kings. Mass. I don't. I mean, Luka and Kyrie in the playoffs. I feel the other way. I feel the other way around because I watched the Kings last night, and the Kings. Sabonis is playing out of his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Sabonis is playing. He underrated as fuck. Like that triple doubles. The way he gets it. Fox and Monk. The way they play. Herder, Murray. The way they come on. Yeah. Like, and then Barnes is just out there. Wiggins. He's just. Yeah, you never and know. Barnes can like randomly have like a forty ball. <laughs> right, and then like you said with the Mavs though, them not getting another piece like Dan Witty, missing out on getting another guy that can actually be a third scorer for them. I think that hurt them. Yeah, but what's we'll up, I mean, PJ Washington, Daniel Gafford, both in playing side. Yeah, yeah, I like mm-hmm. both. Of them. You know, what I'm saying good, good young pieces. But let's just even move it forward. If they did advance past either those uh, Kings or Mavs squads. They would likely be seeing the Clippers in that second round, mm. which 
And I would put my bread on the Clippers, but I would not be surprised if the Thunder. No, no, they, they're giving. Listen, they're gonna give everybody a run for the money because they play. They play smart. Like it's not like the way Shea plays. It ain't forced. He's playing in his, his element, and everybody else is feeding. So yeah. you don't have the selfishness of like, let's say, uh, Spurs, right? The, we don't. They don't have the selfishness to try to go for their own and do all a whole bunch of erratic behavior. When, you know, when they feel the game is getting out of hand, they're playing to whatever Shea is playing to. Yep. They're taking the shots, right? They got two lead dogs with, with Jalen and Shea, and they're they're all playing around those two, and they're getting in where they fit in, yep. which is making them dangerous. You don't ha- you're not gonna have thirty something turnovers and a bunch of erratic shots. That's not how they're playing. They're playing controlled basketball for a, a group of young players. It's crazy, yep. you know. It's crazy to watch. So Sam Presti has been playing uh, some, so the long game, playing some chess. Got a ton of first round picks. Got a ton of young players right now. But how important is it for the Thunder to keep this young core together after all the years of bad hoops that OKC fans have been experiencing? I don't think it's a lot of bad hoops more than them just staying in rebuilding stage. Like the Tulsa shock um, for years when they had the D League was ultimately their converter. The way that they um, developed players coming out of there uh, was a uh, a tribute to where they are now, where they got guys that came, you know, at, at least for Shea, Shea coming from the Clippers and them actually taking an investment into that and him panning out to be the player he is. And they're going through the draft, you know, being able to go through, get Chet, you know, get certain players that actually compliment. Jalen Williams, Case and Wall, I mean, they, they've made some great moves, great pick, Jay, you know, both Jalen Williams. Giddy, Giddy's, Giddy's, I think, is a great complimentary yeah. player that, that fits a piece that can be, you know, a, a, a wild card for them. I think they, they've, they've always done good business. I think that's what the thing that's different for them yeah. compared to everyone else. But struggling o- over the years comes with not having a star player. Which the, they've got their, their role field now. But so. now, like, now that they're seeing like, the fruits of their labor through all these like, down years, now, now, that, now, there's, now window has developed. Yeah. So now what, they have like what, three, four years to like, make, I don't know, finals or championship with this group without maybe one more like vet star but now like they didn't have a window now there's a window so now we have those conversations of keeping the guys together like how, are they going to win are they gonna get to the finals so i mean that's a different type of pressure that they haven't experienced yet so this first year of playoffs is going to be really good for them and hope i think they're going to get out of the first round no matter who they face. I agree and i agree with you i think that window reminds me of kind of the thunder teams of old with hart and kd westbrook just watching like how exciting electrifying that squad is how they're all playing for each other mm-hmm. but now yeah. as we see you know some dudes want a bigger piece of the pie more bread mm-hmm. want to be be the guy yeah. so this is kind of the problem you run into with these young teams as they start to reach that level mm-hmm. well you say like with the the three-headed monster with hart and them they all at 25 thousand plus now points all were all mvps 20, was, 25 know. and ups all was it that is crazy they all it's incredible MVPs. they all but, every, but that but, see, but they wouldn't have been see they wouldn't have been if, yeah they wouldn't have been they would have probably been champions they probably the most likely would have been champions because there would have been really no golden state because they would have had to go against them the whole time yeah um but it's crazy how, as a player, you go into the free market and you're looking at this team and this other team, Houston throws you a bag and then you turn into a whole demon out there. Yeah. yeah. How, that's how much you was holding back. Yeah. yeah. For a championship. And it was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then say, back hey. That's what we were talking yeah. about earlier. Like, think about it. It's four mi- Listen, look what you was, they couldn't pay you four more million and then... You're asking for four more million. They say no. A whole nother team gave you a max. You're taking the pay this pay bullshit six man contract mm-hmm. to stay here and out of the Ten. win, <laughs> max them, and then boom, a couple years later, MVP, scoring title. But but even greater than that, right? He goes, and then this other nigga go. I'm left here. Yeah, and watch me get. Triple, double, triple, three. <laughs> like, what the fuck? But like, it, all of a sudden, I'm triple, double king out but, of nowhere? But that, that should let you know that, like, just for the viewers themselves to understand what type of talent sits on teams, right? You got a six man who they're purposely putting as a six man so can they can keep his value people. down. He leaves, and that same dude is James Harden, lead the league in scoring, assists, MVP, run up the MVP. That same dude 
was coming off the bench for a reason. Then you got one dude who's the MVP, the franchise. He gets hurt, he leaves, and then the second option, triple double, triple double, MVP. Like that's that's what that's sits insane. on benches. So when we when we sit here saying, yo, this dude is that dude, and y'all be like, well, his that he averages 22.4. Just wait a little bit. <laughs> you know, the, his what's the name and his, his ERL and his what's the name. <laughs> <laughs> you start to add shit like your dog. No, the nigga can hoop. Fuck what he you can talking hoop. about. Sure. His stats might not say this right now, but dude got that bop on him. Yeah. Man. <laughs> y'all and then mm -hmm. the one guy that actually was the the prodigy goes and wins two championships for the guys who fucked it off. So KD going up there, we expected KD to do what he was doing, and he go and go actually win. <laughs> so it's like, damn, like we can breed champions, mm -hmm. scoring champs, triple-double motherfuckers, and three, MVPs out of and three MVPs. Coming out of Oklahoma City, mm -hmm. eating mm -hmm. at Applebee's. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe. <laughs>